Welcome back. The email section. Come on, Lou. Oh. This is where Lou uh -huh. joins me, as you know. You know, I can pretend I'm Anderson Cooper, you know, when they do that thing with <laughs> Erica. And here's where the, the cheesy music comes in. You know I have the no thing idea what you're talking about. Oh, you don't watch him? Nah. I love him. Okay, There's, that's besides the point. The, I had a long one here. A long email? Yeah, I don't know if I can get through it all that. Uh, all right. I'll try. All right, do try. Go on. Ready? From Sharon, age 47, in Northfield, Ohio. Dear Susie, my 52-year-old fiancé and I have been divorced for almost 20 years each. We are in love and want to marry for life. I have no children. He has two children, ages 22 and 25. We are going to sign prenup agreements just in case. What I'm worried about is, as far as financial assets, he mentioned that he wants his kids, quote, taken care of. As his wife, if he should die or become disabled, I want to be taken care of. I'm not sure what is appropriate for me to expect. Can you give me some perspective and advice? So, you know, that's a reasonable expectation that you should want to be taken care of by your husband. Equally as reasonable that he should want to take care of his children. I get that. And you know what? You want him to take care of his children from a previous marriage. Because if you want those kids to really, really love you and be okay about this new relationship, so to speak. I'm here to tell you, if you don't cut them out of their inheritance, they're going to love you a whole lot more. Otherwise, there's always going to be that friction. So therefore, you're still relatively young. You're probably in your late 40s. He's probably in his early 50s, something like that. So until we know how great you are together as a married couple, and before he changes everything, the way that you could do it is this. Just have him get a 20-year level or a 10-year level term insurance policy where he owns it, you're the beneficiary, for a serious sum of money that would make you feel comfortable. It's not going to cost him more than $100, $200 a month. And then the kids will be good, you'll be good, and later on in life, if you're still together and you want to change things when the term insurance is up, okay, but he'll feel more secure then, and maybe the kids will be so successful at that time they won't. I don't care what Papa does with the inheritance. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you think? Uh, sounds fine. Sounds fine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like just in case. She says, we're going to stay together for life, but just in case, just in case. we have a prenup, know. which I think is smart. All right, my dear Lou, as always, when I look at you like that, what does that mean? Uh, it just means that I was wrong. This wasn't nearly as long as I thought it was. Oh, well, I know you're always <laughs> wrong, but, you know, my job is to make you look good. Am I always wrong? Not always. Right, You're so you. sweet, though. I just have to say this, and yeah. then we'll end the show. Mm -hmm. You know, people are talking about you more and more out there. They're it's liking you, Lou. It's a sickness. I know. <laughs> it's I should a only tell them. Sick people, sick. He's not that great. <laughs> anyway, but we love him. All right. I will now say this to all of you. I want you to conserve your green. Yep. We have times that a lot of times it goes up the markets, it goes down, the economy's good, the economy's bad. But if you just conserve the money that you have, if you just play it safe, no matter what happens out there, you will be just fine. So until next week, there's only one thing that I want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it's this. People first, then money, then things. Now you stay safe and green. Portfolio Challenge, and you'll get the first month free on a new subscription to CNBC Plus. Watch CNBC Live on your computer. Register now at CNBC.com.